everybody, my name is Mathis, and welcome. <laughs> Why did you make that noise, Mathis? Well, because I thought I was recording incorrectly, but I'm not. Welcome back to the wonderful Wubulous Project Zomboid. Last episode was a mission accomplished episode. We were able to uh, get our home back and uh, kill our old selves while making sure we get all of the loot that he had here for us. So we're good. We're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. It's a little dark. And I can't sleep right now, so what I might do is just rest? I, I don't want to sleep. Isn't there not a way to, like, sit on the window and rest? Or not sit on the window, sit in the chair. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Alright, well, how about we start moving some of these bodies out of here? Um, I'm told you don't want to keep bodies around for the most part. I think I can dig... With my hands? It may injure my hands. Do I have a shovel? A trowel. Why don't we equip this for now and see if we can maybe dig a grave? Dig? That might not be the right thing. Hmm. Well, let's equip this then. Uh, I'm down for just moving some bodies out of the way, more or less. So... We'll go ahead and start moving them out of here. Uh, away from the house. I don't know if I want to pile them up at the entrance of the house or what. But moving bodies is going to be, from my understanding, very important. Um, why are we that over... Oh, because our bag. Right, right, right. Well, that's fine. Can't take much more. Movement compromised. Just pile them up. Actually, let's get the ones, like, closest to the house first. This is all part of living the day-to-day -day life in the zombie apocalypse. And if you think about it, any zombie movie or zombie TV show, Walking Dead, is obviously the most, the prime example, because it's probably the most popular zombie uh, fiction in existence currently. But they always make sure their bodies are piled up and burning. And I know we could burn them. I know that's an option. Um, but we have too much wooded area around here, and I, I would be too afraid to really risk that. So I'm not going to. So for now, just at the kind of our front doorstep. I don't know how far these guys need to be away from me or my house or my living area for it to be considered quote-unquote safe. But I'm fine just kind of dropping them. I think they like piled on top of each other there oddly. And I don't hear any zombies or any shuffling in the woods. I really think we finally made ourselves like a very safe spot. So the next thing we need is is basically the ability to um, to farm. And we also, I, I don't want to put in a container, unequip. Uh, what I want to do is uh, also have the option to um, chop down trees. So I need to find an axe. We are in Muldrow. And there are plenty of places I can go. If I uh, if I can remember how to get there, that will wheel or at least potentially yield rather uh, useful tools for ourselves, and uh, we're gonna want that. I just need to find it basically, um, but also checking out the houses and the like is gonna be good too. All right, let's uh, let's equip this on our, as our secondary, equip as our primary. Drop the other frying pan in the bag. We could go through these bodies as well, but I'm pretty sure I've gone through every single one. So let's move. We're a little under a fairly heavy load. But that should not be that bad. Let's go ahead and kill off this guy. Alright, he took forever. Why are we still under a heavy load is the question. There we go. It's because I had the trowel out. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Scary. I don't know if I've been in this house yet. The dead zombie there? No alarm. It looks like I've maybe been in here, but I'm going to just double check. Yeah, I've definitely been in here. I don't think I've been in the garage, though. I'm going to leave the door open. 
That usually is my universal sign of like, hey, I've been there. <laughs> Don't go back in. This door, I, I mean, that I haven't gone in yet. He got distracted, and he's heading there. He probably heard me, and then ended up having, a, then losing me. And I, I mean, I was walking around quietly anyway. I was in the sneak mode. So. Zombies are dead. It looks like I've been in here as well. There's some ice cream. We'll grab it. Window open. Likely for me. But all these houses, I, there's no way I have looted all of these houses. I hear flies. Yeah, this, there's a dead zombie in here somewhere. Uh, device options, turn it off. Okay, the fly noise is coming from the TV. That makes no sense, but alright, I, I accept. Dry ramen noodles. A kitchen knife, that's actually very, very nice. That's going to be a nice way of clearing out an area. Don't know if vinegar is going to do anything. Keep this door open. I'm more concerned about any of these places having an alarm. There's a lot of open windows, which makes me think it was me. But not all of them have been looted, so... Just be careful. Mop. I'm looking for, like, a proper shovel and an axe. Getting hungry. Now we're starting to get to the area where there's a, a few more zombies than I'm comfortable with. Okay, they didn't immediately turn around, which usually means no alarm. We can just do the usual. I'm actually gonna go ahead and close this window. Yeah, because I had a feeling someone might have heard that. I mean, she did get stomped on multiple times. Let's actually eat this cereal. We'll go ahead and eat half of it. Good enough. Note to self, don't play games like this if you've really got to pee. <laughs> I didn't have to that bad. I feel like a child doing, like, the pee-pee dance. It's fine. I'll live. Okay, I'm a little nervous to pop the bathroom open just because uh, bathroom zombies are a thing. Okay, so we know that there's a, at least a little cluster over there. There's a couple over here. Might not be a bad thing to just completely try and take out a, these two. Let's get the faster one up ahead. Okay, he's down. That worked, sort of. Alright, well. I was hoping I'd get the smash on him. Didn't work. We can now. He went down quick. Two more not to not to have to worry about. Awesome. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and sprint back. Uh, and the reason I want to sprint is I do want to level up my sprinting ability. Uh, that's what I keep checking for. We're getting close. I really want to drive a car as well. I don't think I have the key. Car key. Uh, maybe I do? Hmm. I think I'm... I, I have a weird memory of, like, picking up the car key for this car. But let's double check it real quick. Vehicle info. Radio. Heater. Gas tank. It's dead. It has no gas at all, so it would not help remotely for us. Now let's listen. Make sure no alarm is happening. We're good. Now I'm not going to leave my only exit 
unlock. There we go. Oh, the back door is smashed open. So I need to be very careful. I have no defense whatsoever here. Couple of the seeds are actually valuable. I'm gonna start farming soon. I kind of need to. Why is there so many fly sounds? I don't know where they're coming from. The laundromat? No, it's odd. I can't tell where they're coming from. We'll actually happily check the laundromat though. We're actually able to relatively safely kind of hit up all the buildings nearby, which is a nice change of pace. One zombie. I wonder if this just this one zombie spent days just smashing her face <gasps> up against the door, <gasps> then got to the back room and did the same. Just making sure. Come on. Take the key. Wedding ring is sad, don't get me wrong, but don't care enough. Yeah, no zombies in the bathroom. Just her. Getting good on the food loot, though. I'm cautiously optimistic. Again, I feel like I'm slowly hitting my groove again, which is nice. Because not something I, you know, over the past few episodes has not gone supremely well, no question. I'm just staying quiet. I love the new... This is a stupid little critique. It's not a critique. A, a stupid little praise, but... I, I like the footsteps. In the silence. And I'm glad the music is still subtle. and doesn't happen too often. Alright, you know what? This guy's gonna go. This is the guy that came out of the woods when I was over here and I heard him. And he got distracted. So let's just go ahead and smash him. Another one down. Uh, is there a way? There used to be a way to like look at how many zombies I've killed. Thirty-five. Favorite weapon: bare hands. Well, I mean, I by bare hands you mean my foot with a shoe on it. Then bare hands it is. Can't tell if it's flies or rain. Rain. We gotta get inside then. The weather, weather actually has an, if you're new to this game, weather actually has an effect. I will get wet and I will get sick. And I don't want to risk that. Thunderstorm. I think that'll make zombies move around a bit. But let's get in, inside. I don't want to risk getting too wet here. We can continue our, our zombie pile when it's sunny out. But let's go ahead and start throwing some organization in. So, ice cream freezer. Can I organize by type? I can. I think. Type? I think it's just going alphabetical and then reverse alphabetical. From what I can tell. One, two, three. I'm going to actually fill this cooking pot with water and stash it while we still have water. I could actually just capture rain as well. I'm gonna take this vinegar out real quick and dump it. I cannot dump a bottle of vinegar. Interesting. I wonder why. Into the fridge. Tuna is in there. Popcorn in there. Refrigerator. Fridge is still running. I can hear it. So let's go ahead and fill up the cooking pot while we have water. That'll go right into the refrigerator. And also fill our water bottle. And you. In you go. If we have a bucket laying around anywhere, I'm very willing to drop it outside and start catching rainwater. That's something we are going to need to do. Actually, you know what? Let's, um... It's raining... But it's not that bad. 
So let's just start digging up farms. Okay, or not. I don't know how many plots we can get in right now, but I'm going to do five plots across and then plant seeds. Oh, I got to take them out of the bag. And I'm assuming I can get plants, like, after I plant them. Requires seeds. Oh, do I have to open them? Open. Open. All right, let's sow cabbages. Cabbages. I'm not a... I don't... I think my farming skill is pretty bad. But let's just plant some stuff here. We can keep on digging. Just across here. And we'll just sow uh, broccoli. 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 Dig. We're getting wet. We need to head inside soon. But broccoli. Dig. Maybe one more broccoli. Broccoli. All right, we'll leave that. They're getting rained on, which is the reason I wanted to get them out there. But getting some food growing is going to be good for us. Let's get inside. I have, a few, I have actually a lot more broccoli seeds, but I am going to just drop them in here for now. And let's equip this. And then the pistol can go in our bag. I don't plan on ever using the pistol, but you never know. Screwdriver as well. In the bag you go. We got worms! Sweet. Let's put them in the fridge. In you go. I think we have a towel upstairs we can dry ourselves with, which we definitely want to do. Because we're damp. Granted, I think it's a low chance, if it's at all, a chance of getting ourselves, um... Ooh, painkillers. That's huge! I did not search the bathroom, apparently, last time. And let's close the curtains. And close the door. So, no towel. Unusable wood. I don't even know what that means. Like, why is it... Uh, well, I know what it means, all right? Let's, it's, it's wood that is not usable. But I don't understand why it exists if it's not usable. It just sits there and takes up a spot, and I can just walk over it whenever I want. So it doesn't seem to matter all that much. Trapping for beginners? Yeah, why don't we grab this and start doing a little bit of reading? Um, it's probably a good idea to read. I need like a, a wristwatch or something. We're gonna have to go downstairs and eat soon too. But getting trapping for beginners done is, is gonna be valuable. We may wanna try actually doing some wildlife nonsense. All right, let's uh, head downstairs. Let's go eat something real quick. Obviously perishables first. Grab one. Eat all. Thought I clicked on antidepressants for a minute. I am lucky I did not. Let's see if we can finish this Trapping for Beginners book. Excuse me? Do I have to read it all the way through? I hope not. Come on. Beautiful. So this is useless now. We can drop it. And this should give us, I think, bonus experience. Yeah, on, uh, on, our, on our trapping stuff. So when we trap, we'll get better at it much, much, much faster, which uh, is of clear value. So let's go ahead and grab another apple. Which also helps with our thirst, which is nice. Now we can actually come out here and be like, oh, hey, info. Last time watered two hours ago, they're verdant, they're not diseased, and any of that other stuff. I, I, I'm nervous that these will disease them, so let's move the bodies out of the way a little bit. Just in case. I don't think, I mean, I, you know what, I shouldn't say anything. Maybe. Why am I under an extremely heavy load right now? Okay, now it's gone. I mean, it makes sense when I'm carrying a corpse. Okay. Alright, we pulled them away. 
And uh, I think with that, I'm going to actually call the episode. I think we, we've got ourselves a nice little, again, set up, and we're, we're still working nicely together. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And by hitting the like button, your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.